Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, a pro stock racket that you can buy? I'm borrowing this racket from my buddy Yaz because I'm restringing it. Does he know about that I'm borrowing it? Maybe. Stay tuned. All right, so Holiday Spice Blend, sponsor of the day, is Tamir. I think it's how it's actually pronounced. T-I-H-O-M-I-R. So my guess is that's Tamir, T-O-M-I-R. Um, Tamir writes, you are doing exquisite job and just keep like that. Oh, thank you, my man. Um, I appreciate you. Thanks for the holiday spice blend. It's what I look forward to this time of the year. Thanks for hooking it up. Um, if you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, or should I say, if you want to be my holiday spice blend or holiday blend coffee sponsor of the day, network is buy me a coffee dot com forward slash tennis spin if you want to hook up the channel and support the channel and the team super thanks is the way you can donate as much or as little as you like to help us out link is below thank you guys so so very much hmm. yeah i'd actually look forward to that holiday spice a lot um, I don't know. It just kind of brings out the season of joy in me. Speaking of season of joy, my buddy Yaz, who I've known for probably close to 20 years, he's a great customer here, have brought this in to me today. It's a Donne Xenocore Pro 1 Octa. And I was like, dude, what are you doing with a Donne? Because he usually plays with a head racket the new speeds and he's like you know my arm hurts right these donnays are supposed to be great for tennis elbow and i'm like wow i haven't heard of donnay in over 10 years and when i first saw this thing said xenocore i was like uh, it's like their version of a pure drive from way back when he's like no it's actually 21 uh, beam and i was like let me see that so we got to talking. He's like, it even says arm safe on the racket. So I said, Yas, that's great. I can stamp arm safe on any racket and maybe it'll be arm safe too. <laughs> He's like, yeah, okay, dude. And, and and I was like, so, but he wanted me to string this racket up for him with um, his multi-string because he doesn't use poly so apparently this came uh factory strung and it looks like it's a poly and i'm pretty sure it's don a uh, poly so <laughs> i said hey dude can i uh borrow the video for a shoot he's like sure so he watches the channel too and he you know he gets it he's like yeah go ahead and shoot and then uh, string it back up and i'm like okay cool so I'm just looking at, oh, check this out. Checking you, give you, give you some features of the racket here. My choice, your choice. I guess when you spin the racket, you spin the racket, um, your serve, my serve, right? So your choice, my choice, my choice of serving or your choice of serving. What is this? What else can you print here? Greatest racket in the world. Let's see. I'm just sorry. Now I'm fat in. Now I'm infatuated. Okay. All right. So let's check out what this thing weighs with it all in here. Um, it's a three eighths, 27 inches. Let's check out some specs. Because it can't. I can feel definitely there's weight here. There's definite weight here. 
in the head. All right, so let's put it on the scale. 10, excuse me, 11, four. 323 grams. That's not horrible, especially with that in here um, and strings. Hmm. Let's check where the balance point is on this thing. Feels pretty head heavy to me. It is pretty head heavy now. 320. I'm going to say 328. Let's check out the swing weight now. All right. At the scale. It's over 310 for sure. Yeah, 333. <laughs> yeah, definitely good swing weight. All right, let's take a look at the numbers. All right, so take a let's take a closer look at the specs of the Pro One Octa. Um, that's pretty normal for player stick. I'm guessing there will be a little customization going on right there by, you know, a pro level player or a high level player. Balance is pretty good. Swing weight is pretty high, which is what I like. Um, I like this number too. So, um, so the, the interesting thing about this racket is the RA. I was trying to look for an RA and they're like, you can't really find a real number for this racket because it's not like any regular racket in which you can calculate it. It'll come up a weird number that doesn't really relate or correlate with this special racket. So if you're talking about like a, like a triad uh, three or a triad five where there's that technology that makes it bend and then the flex or the RA number comes out like 30 or 20 something. Uh, it's, I'm guessing it has that kind of a flex technology in it where it just doesn't work with that type of a machine, like with an RDC machine that actually flexes the racket. So they would rather you not know, uh, is my guess, okay? Head size 97, beam is a 21 constant, 1619. Recommended tension, according to them, is 35 to 55. They say 45 plus or minus 10, which is what this is in pounds. The other interesting thing about this racket, I was looking on the Donne website, is they're actually comparing this to a old head prestige pro stock that a lot of the pros use. You know that racket that's like a PT57A that supposedly, you know, Novak uses, uh, Andy Murray, uh, a lot of the, you know, pros using head rackets use. So they're actually comparing this to a pro stock racket. I wonder if it'll actually live up to that kind of billing. Um, ooh, I'm looking at the grip here. I don't see a trap door. Check that out. And it does have kind of a head type of a shape um, grip, as you can see there. My buddy Yaz also said that they there's a foam core in this thing that helps dampen shock and vibration, which is what is great for your arm. I wonder, and I worry when I hear that, is will it take out feel? So shock, feel, vibration, one takes out the other sometimes. Let's see if uh, I could still get feel out of this racket. All right, so let's uh, test it out. See you on the court. On the court, Coach Pablo, 
Coach Pablo has a history with every racket out there. Yes. He's kind of like Chamberlain. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm ready to try <laughs> them all out. I'm looking for the Excalibur, and it still hasn't shown up yet. All right, so we got Don A to try today. Wow. <laughs> Woo. Sorry. <laughs> Nice shot. Uh, 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 oh! All right, Coach Pablo, you've been known to love, have a love-hate relationship with kind of every racket. Yeah. Um, so here's the thing. Donne still makes rackets, guys. Um, they made this racket to be arm friendly. As you can see, it even says it, it does. arm safe yeah. with power. So it's the Pro One Octa that they currently make in the line. Okay. Talk to me. I really liked it. Um, honestly, I've, let's see, in the last week I've played with probably 10 different rackets. Um, very stable. Uh, just right out, of the, right out of the gates. I have a one-handed backhand. There wasn't a lot of wobble. Um, easy depth and not a lot of vibration, too. Uh, it it kind of reminded me of there was a, a Dunlop racket that McEnroe was playing with that kind of looked it was a graphite but it looked like they made it look like a wood racket kind of do you remember that mm -hmm. one I do and it, it kind of reminds me of that but I what I like what they've done with the hoop and they've opened it up down here in this section um, that obviously gives it a little bit more sweet spot and it kind of brings that energy up the up the rest of the racket in a nice way. Um, feeling, you know, the, the throat is big. So it's right away reminded me of a blade, um, kind of, you know, similar, similar to, to blade style rackets, but it's way more stable than a blade, honestly. And the weight and the balance of it is, um, I think way better, um, than, than the blade in that sense. Um, very, very, uh, you could, you could be a, a top player or you could be, um, a club player that likes a more traditional feel. Um, you could be a junior, you could be an adult, uh, and this, this would actually feel, feel good. I, I don't even want to put weight on it. It just, oh. it, it just felt, and normally I want to put weight on every racket that I try. Yeah. It felt good. So both Pablo and I have a one and we actually commented that it's a very stable one. We, it, it, it didn't wobble like cause lighter rackets or, or certain balanced rackets tend to come through and and kind of like mm, wobble yeah. a little bit yeah and then others tend to not be smooth coming through yep yeah uh, but this is a good one-handed backhands racket it is um it is yeah forehand i was actually able to i don't want to say keep up with you but no you uh, were I, <laughs> way but, better than the other one but i was like yeah. oh like it definitely gave me the power when i needed it um, gave me the spin when I needed it. It actually turned up pretty easy. Yeah, I would say so. It, that's the one thing that I really like about the, the weight and the and the um, the balance, but also the the consistency throughout the beam. I feel like um, it really it just stays smooth, mm -hmm. um, and you don't have to force it anywhere. Right, you just uh, throw it. At you it. throw it, and it's really nice. Yeah. And then the other thing was. Um, like no vibration. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was super soft and and. It didn't, but not dead, you know, it didn't feel dead. Yeah. Uh, it was lively, uh, yep. but yeah, but, but very, very, very low vibration. Um, but, but it still gave us feel. It feel too. Yeah. Feel yeah. no vibration though. So great all around frame. So I'm glad that I was able to borrow this racket. <laughs> he came by today, but it's okay. He's he'll wait another day. <laughs> Thanks Yaz. Yes, Yaz. Coach so Pablo. good. Oh, Yaz. Yaz, definitely. Um, I'm gonna good, good choice, bud. Good choice, Yaz. Good choice. Very All right. nice. All right. I want to thank Coach Pablo for hanging out with me today and trying out Yaz's racket. Thanks, Yaz. Loved it. All right. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.
What the hell? Harry! Harry! What? Is that you? Yeah! What's going on? What are you doing here? I got stuck. Ah! Uh, uh, you're too squishy! Uh, Come on, little dude. I'm working at it. Come on, oh, little... man!